Okay, good morning, millionaires. Good morning, millionaires. I hope everybody's feeling good this morning. My name is Hazik Ali. I'm a revenue acceleration coach and a self-esteem development expert starting with my own. I'm here to tell you that I know it is the holiday season, but a lot of times we make this a little bit more commercial than it needs to be. Can I get a witness? So what I want to do is talk to you today about Jim Rohn's Essentials of a Good Life. For those that don't know, Jim Rohn is uh, the mentor of Tony Robbins. You know, um, he's one of the guys that helped get herbal life to a billion dollars. You know, he's a business philosopher. If you don't know the name Jim Rohn, he's somebody I suggest you kind of look up. You know, books of his are powerful um, podcasts that feature him. Um, YouTube videos, powerful dude. And um, since we're all about working on ourselves, right? We know that this ain't a destination, this is a journey. I wanted to talk today about some of the things that are sure to make your life better from a non-materialistic point of view. The gestures are nice, but what you're trying to do is become a better person at the end of the day. The ultimate expression of life is not a paycheck. The ultimate expression of life is not a nice Mercedes or a Rolls Royce. The ultimate expression of life is not a million dollars or or a million dollar home. Uh, the ultimate expression of life is living a good life. Huh? So here's what we got to ask ourselves constantly, in my humble opinion. What for me would be a good life? Somebody give me that in the comments and give me a share. Let's get this party started. What for me would be a good life? You kind of keep going over this list over and over and over again. So proud of all my millionaires and billionaires checking in this morning. Even on a morning like this, y'all up early. I love that. I love that. Somebody give it to me. What for me would be a good life? The YouTube gang checking in. What for me would constitute a good life? What for me would constitute a good life. Let's go. Let's go. What for me would constitute a good life? What a question, right? And then you got to keep going over the list, right? Spirituality, economics, health, relationships, recreation. What would constitute a good life? I'm going to tell you something. Jim Rohn has a short list. I want to see if you agree with this. Yeah, yeah. What for me would be a good life, Rhonda? That's right. Here's the first one. Productivity. You heard me say it before. I'll say it again. Happiness comes from what you got happening. You won't be happy if you don't produce. Can I get a witness? You won't be happy if you don't produce. The game of life is not rest. Who can get the most rest? Yeah, we got to rest, but only long enough to gather our strength to get back to productivity. Is that a fact? Productivity. What's the definition of productivity? Working on something that we call a project. And what's a project? Something that when you're done working for it, it starts working for you, right? That's why I like to create bosses rather than customers. I'm looking to create leaders, not followers. You hear me? What's the reason for the seasons, y'all? What's the reason for the seeds and the soil and the sunshine, the rain? The miracle of life. What's the reason? It's to see what you can do with it, baby. It's to see what you can do with it. Your life is here to prove the divine, the divinity. That's what you're here to do. You're here to prove the existence of God, his grace, his mercy. Even in the face of all odds, even in the face of disrespect, rancor, chaos, you are here to prove the existence of divinity. Productivity, y'all. Productivity. Let's get it. If you agree with that, give me a productivity and then give me a share. Let's get it. Let's get it. If you agree with that, somebody say happiness comes from what you got happening and then give me a share. You know, I always say greatness minds its business. Misery needs a business. You hear me? They be like misery loves company. Nah, misery would love to have a company. You hear what I'm saying to you? Greatness minds its business. Misery needs a business. You ever heard somebody say, get some business about yourself? You know what I mean? 
Let's go. Let's go. Here's number two. Good friends. Good friends. Good friends. We miss you too, Miss Donna. Appreciate the share. Appreciate the share. Good friends. Friendship is probably the greatest support system in the world. So don't deny yourself the time to develop it. Don't deny yourself the vibe of giving. Man, a lot of people get it twisted. They think this season right here is about receiving. You know, um, yesterday, I think it was, we had a, a, a millionaire minded, you know, uh, one of our tribe. Somebody stole her wallet out of her purse. You know what we did? One of our members, Grover, told Tammy, who told me, hey, what's her cash at? But before we even sent her the money, we gave her a vibe. We said, you don't know why that person stole that wallet. That could have kept them from killing themselves. That was probably a gift for them. Let's pray for them. We took a few minutes and we prayed. And then after that, I got the message. Let's ask for her cash app. Then I started getting messages. Sent, 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 sent. Man, the millionaires blessed her and, and hopefully contributed a little bit to her happy season because she was talking about the fact that like, yo, this incident had ruined her week. She could not let go of the fact that somebody at her job would steal her wallet out of her purse. And that is heartbreaking. It hurts to get hurt by the people that you love. It hurts to get hurt by the people that you trust. It hurts to not be understood or appreciated. It hurts. But let me tell you how you fix it. If you need a friend, you be a friend. If you need a friend, you be a friend. Friendship is probably the greatest support system in the world. So don't deny yourself the time to develop it. Somebody give me this in the comments if you agree. If you need a friend, be a friend. Friends are those wonderful people who know all about you and like you anyway. Friends know your stuff and they love you anyway. Ain't that something? We've all got casual friends. We've all got acquaintances. You know what I mean? And you need both, you know, but you also need some real friends. This makes a good life. This makes a good life. If you need a friend, be a friend and then give me a share. If you need a friend, be a friend and then give me a share. Yeah, a friend to the friendless. I like that, Johnny. If you need a friend, be a friend. That's a little secret to life. If you need a friend, be a friend. Here's number three, y'all. Your culture. Your culture. I know everybody's excited about Christmas. I ain't mad at you, but I'm excited about Kwanzaa. You know, this is Kwanzaa Eve Eve. Are you excited about your culture? Your language, your music, your ceremonies, your traditions. My therapist said, you know, Hazik, what you need is more rituals. You need more rituals with you and your babe. You need more rituals with your family. She said, even with the holidays, what we've decided is instead of spending a lot of money on material things, we're going to create more rituals. And there ain't nothing wrong with material things. There ain't nothing wrong with money now. You know, they always be talking about, you know, uh, money to root all evil. I don't know where they got that. You know what I mean? First of all, that's a horrible misquote. But what about money answereth all things? They be skipping over that part. Check it out. Money allows you to be a better person if you're a good one. If you're a good person, money will make you better. Now, if you're a bad person, money will make you horrible. You know what I mean? <laughs> You'll have money and still won't share with nobody. Ain't that something? But check this out. Your culture, your culture, your ceremonies, the way you dress. Man, I'm going to come through uh, 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 during Kwanzaa with the dashiki. Mark my words. You know what I mean? Because it's the uniqueness of us, y'all. When you blend it all together, that really gives us power. That gives us vitality. That gives us energy. That gives us influence. You hear me? Helps us remember where we came from. All right. If you agree with that, somebody give me. It's all about culture and then give me a share. I still got three more for you. Man, I don't know how many of y'all got into Kwanzaa last year. My goal is to get you hype about Kwanzaa. Man, Kwanzaa is like an entrepreneur holiday. You hear me? 
Kwanzaa is amazing. Kwanzaa is amazing. I don't know if y'all know the seven principles of Kwanzaa, but y'all gonna find out this year. All right, here's number four from Jim Rohn's list. Spirituality, spirituality. Check it out. Einstein was like energy equals mass squared times the speed of light. E equals MC squared. But do you know energy is just another word for spirit? Man, one time I was talking to my therapist. I was like, yeah, it's all mental. She said, I want to help you out with that. What if it's all spiritual? I was like, whoa, you know what? That's what I meant. That's what I meant, my bad. Check it out. Spirituality forms the foundation of the family that forms the foundation of the nation. You got to make sure you study it. You got to make sure you practice it. You got to make sure you teach it. Don't be careless about the spiritual part of your nature because it's what makes us different from the birds, the dogs, the giraffe. It's our spirituality, y'all. It's what makes us different from the mice. It's what makes us different from the, from the, from the, the monkeys. It's our spirituality. It's our ability to use our mind as a switching station where we can use it to change our vibration and our level of spirit. And that creates a good life, y'all. That creates a good life. That's number four. Here's number five. Acknowledgement. Not missing anything. Acknowledgement. You know, um, tonight at 3.30, you're going to get our new newsletter, right? Uh, matter of fact, here's how you join the newsletter if you haven't already. Y'all know about the newsletter yet? Let me get some fire emojis if you enjoy that newsletter every Friday. We always give you a piece of mindset, a piece of skill set, a piece of heart set. Why? Why? And really, I should say mindset, heart set, skill set. Why? Because first, it's about acknowledging it. Then after that, it's about cherishing it. Then after that, it's about nurturing it. Right? Mindset, heart set, skill set. And you'll see it goes in that order in the newsletter. You can read the whole newsletter in about seven minutes. It'll change your whole life, humbly speaking, humbly speaking. But what I'm saying is don't miss anything. You know, Jim Rohn talks about how his parents taught him not to miss the game, not to miss the performance, not to miss the movie, not to mention, not to miss that night out with your friends, right? You don't want to miss anything because this is what makes a life. Life is for the living, millionaire. Go to everything you possibly can. And I know we got Omarion outside or whatever it's called. I get it. But check it out. You done risked your life for less. And this Omarion variant is probably the mildest one. Stop living in fear. I tell you what y'all didn't do in Georgia. Y'all didn't skip that Atlanta Braves parade. And it wasn't one mask in the whole crowd. They had it all over the news. Y'all wasn't scared about that, but now you won't go to church. You won't go to the mosque. You won't go to the temple because you're scared of the virus. But you'll go to the Atlanta Braves thing. Y'all will go to the Shake Club. <laughs> All I'm saying is live a vital life. If you live well, then you're going to earn well. If you live well, it'll show in your face. It'll show in the texture of your voice. You hear what I'm saying to you? There'll be something unique about you. There'll be something magical about you. We can sense when you're living, baby. And then here's number six. Here's number six, y'all. Here's number six. If you have not, hey, hey, all them fire emojis. Hold up. Let me give props to the fire emojis. Okay, okay. We got some people, we got some people uh, 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 loving that newsletter. I love it. I love it. I love that, Michelle. Michelle says she named her daughter from the seven principles of Kwanzaa because she named her daughter Nia. Nia means purpose. Imani means faith. She named her daughter Nia Imani. <laughs> that is hard. The power of faith is basically what she's saying, if y'all could dig that. All right. Here's the last one I got for you, man. Your family and your inner circle. This is what helps you make a good life. Your family and your inner circle. Invest in them and they'll invest in you. Man, I just hooked up with one of my best friends about two days ago, and it was such a blessing to my life. It was such a blessing to my life. I realized in that moment that I have to be more intentional. I have to be more intentional, man. Not only is your network your net worth, right? Or the way we say it around here, millionaire-minded, your self-worth times your network 
equals your net worth, right? But it's amazing how being around your inner circle that you've picked with intention will click back on your hunger. Millionaires, invest in them, they'll invest in you. Inspire them, they'll inspire you. Take care of the details with your inner circle. Take care of the details with your family. Listen, I hope this was helpful to you. I hope this was helpful to you. There are many virtues and values, millionaires, like the prophet said. There are many virtues and values, but here's the greatest one person caring for another. There are many virtues and values, y'all, but here's the greatest one person caring for another. There is no greater value than love. There is no greater value than love. So make sure during this busy season that you take time out to love on somebody, y'all. Love on somebody who don't deserve it. Because check this out. And give me this in your notes so I know it's going in your mind. When a person deserves love the least is when they need it the most. When a person deserves love the least is when they need it the most. I know you got some family. I know you got some loved ones that get on your nerves. But when a person deserves love the least is when they need it the most. So take time out to remember the real reason for the season, y'all. May you truly live the kind of life that will bring the fruit and the rewards you desire. May you live the kind of life that becomes an example, not a warning. And if nobody else told you yet today, remember, I love you. It's affirmation time, y'all. Let's get it. Repeat after me. You know, people, you know, say, what's the number? What's the number? That's the number right there. Screenshot this real quick so you have the number. And then save it. Or just text message at Mill Mind right there. At Mill Mind to 81010. Text message that. That's how you join Dear Millionaire. Come on, call in on the line right now. Call in on the line right now. Some of y'all be slipping with the affirmations. Call in on the live line right now. And don't forget your affirmation and visualization coloring book. It's called Color Me Millionaire. Don't forget. It ain't too late to order it for Kwanzaa. It's too late to order it for Christmas, though. <laughs> if you ain't get that order in. I don't know what to say, baby. But you can still order it for Kwanzaa. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. Repeat after me, millionaire. Say it like you mean it. I am so happy and grateful.